<laughs> Greetings, I'm Rob Chaffers. And I'm Bilbo Baggins. <laughs> Welcome to the Andertons videos, making your day again. I'm very pleased to say we've got Rabir here from the Woo! band Dorje. Yeah! Um, who's going to help us because today, uh, we are going to take you through some very cool pedals by a company called Strymon. Mm. And uh, Rabir here uh, is a proud owner of uh, a couple of Strymon pedals. So he's going to be the, the sort of the go-to guy for sort of technical questions. Um, we've got three video cameras, we've got six microphones, we've got a sound engineer, we've just gone two, for three it. guitar players, yeah. two couches. Next level. And we've had coffee. So Seven. Seven, seven cameras. So yeah. Now, I said to the guys from Strymon uh, a few days ago, look, we're doing some videos of your pedals. Can you send me some information about your pedals so I've got a bit of background? What do the and guys they from Strymon sound like? They literally sent me all this. They're American. They sent me all this, and I can't be bothered to read any of it. So thanks for that. <laughs> we're just going to make it up as we go along. Yay! Um, so, basically, Strymon, this is what I do know. They are super top-end pedals. Uh, using combinations of the most cutting edge digital kind of circuitry with super premium analog circuitry as well. Um, background wise to these guys, before you kind of uh, Line 6 haters get on board, they actually all used to work for Line 6. Oh, so, really? yeah, these, but basically, this is a few years ago. Uh, you may or may not have uh, seen a, a brand, I sold it for a while, about four or five years ago, called Damage Control. Mm. And they were, again, a sort of a, a very expensive kind of combination of tube, analog, and digital circuitry. Damage control kind of uh, um, did a bit, but never really took off, and it has evolved again now into Strymon, and Strymon is a, is a much more, you know, conventional looking lineup of pedals, but all, again, super, super high quality for the pro guitar player out there. I haven't seen my Afro friend Rabia quite so happy mm. as when he got his shipment container of Strymon Love yes. to whack on his pedal board and take on tour. So what you can see down here uh, on the GoPro camera are five Strymon pedals. These are some of the compact pedals that they do. Uh, the only one that I don't have here, which is a real shame, but we were sold out and Strymon was sold out, so we couldn't bring one to the video today, is the Flint, which is the sort of the tremolo reverb one, very, very popular. But what we have got is the El Capistan, which is the, the sort of the tape delay echo pedal. We've got the Lex, which is the Leslie sort of rotary speaker emulator. We've got the Orbit, which is the flanger, uh, the Brigadier, uh, which is the delay, the bucket delay, and we've got the Obi One Kenobi. Good on cue there. Uh, compressor. And all we're going to do is basically just go through them uh, one at a time, and you'll be able to hear some sounds. Rob's going to play whatever comes to mind, as is Rabir. The two other pedals that we're going to do in a video afterwards are the Mobius and the Timeline, and those are a bit more complicated because they are sort of they are several pedals in one and programmable, uh, whereas all of these are just like conventional on and off. Mm. pedals. So any questions? Well, but these are quite expensive, aren't they? They are much more expensive than your boss kind of thing, but but probably not completely out of touch with with what you'd class as a sort of a modern premium boutique pedal. Uh, but typically this range is going to go anything from a couple of hundred pounds up to uh, about 400, isn't it, for one yeah. of the timeline or mobile. But absolutely world-class top production stuff. I, I, I think on the pedal line of things, you know, it's like if you've just spent, you know, if your guitar collection is worth uh, several thousand pounds. Let's say typically you own a Les Paul Standard or you've got a you know top of the range American mm. Strat or a PRS. Your guitar's two thousand quid. If you've got a nice you know Marshall or a nice uh, Boogie or something like that, then you know your amp might be worth fifteen hundred pounds, two thousand yeah. pounds. So the idea of it being a problem to put pedals <laughs> that cost two hundred pounds each in yeah. is I don't get you know. But, yeah, yeah, yeah. but yes, yeah. these are these are at the top end. Yeah. I'm using. A Decibel 11 um, multi power supply. It's a new. Um, oh, who are they distributed by? Uh, no, literally, I buy them direct from oh, Decibel really? 11. Yeah. But they're basically, it's a guy that used to work at um, Voodoo, Voodoo Labs, and he's kind of come along with a with a essentially very similar product with a few. Bless you. Bless you. <laughs> <laughs> he's come along and done uh, like a, a, a sort of a, a tweaked version. Some might say improved. Anyway, you go check them out. You can decide. So. Over here, this pretty, what colour would it's we say this hope. is? I'd say it's our only hope. I'd say it's a uh, orange. <laughs> it's Strike orange. me down and I will become more powerful than you can ever know. <laughs> I'd say that pedal actually matches um, Rabia's guitar splendidly. Yes, this is a sort of um, rusty orange. Like a desert, I would say. like a Jawa desert kind um, of. If it was a color. woman, it would smell of. 
I thought you were going to say peaches oh, or apricots. That was or nasty. <laughs> that was because we all smelt that at the yeah. same time you said it. So that was nasty. This is called the Strymon Obi One. It's a compressor. Who's plugged in? I'm Rob? plugged in. So that's a Fender Hot Rod Deluxe sound that you're hearing now. Rob's going to play now some, uh, yeah, I do this a lot, don't I? I'm going to play some porn Madonna music. Vogue. Um, <laughs> Stick's just motting in the background. <coughs> um, so, as Rob plays, I'm going to click the compressor in. You'll see it on the other camera when I, compress it, when I click it in. And what you'll hear is that without the compressor, it's a bright, uh, all the dynamics coming. So if, if Rob is uh, perhaps a downstroke is harder than a soft stroke by accident or whatever, you're going to hear all those dynamics coming through. As I hit the compressor in, you'll hear the bass end fill out a bit. The whole sound will become a bit tighter um, and it'll just sound a little bit more controlled. So yeah. anyway, let's start playing. Perfecto! I can control the amount of compression here. Essentially, this is just how unnatural do we want to make so, it. So turn sound. it off and then bring all the compression in gradually while I hit one chord and let's see if we can hear the difference. Okay. Shh. without yeah, the compressor. Was... Now, one of the other cool things that the Obi-Wan Kenobi has got is a boost control. I'm gonna own um, Avaru! And it depends where we want to boost. Now, we can boost a, a, a treble, a, a mid-range, or a, a mid. sort of a general flat sound. Oh, and I can control how much Would you boost. ever go for anything other than mids? Oh, let's try it and see what it sounds like. So... <laughs> My word. Now, I wonder whether or not, let's give Rabir the lead. I wonder if that's more of an effect. You know, just because it, it might brighten up a dark sounding humbucker rather than applying it to an all bright sounding We are using the Fender Hot Rod. to use yes. the uh, bridge, yeah? Yeah, why not? This I'd is, like to hear that on a, on a lead sound. I think this crunch. is probably where the boost comes in best. So should we go to a lead sound then now? Uh, two, which is number two. And we've got to go to uh, toggle A and B. So, uh, just press toggle. toggle. No, 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 just toggle. Let's see how much of that yeah, sustain let's do that that again. we can achieve. If I turn everything off, how much of that sustain we can achieve? Uh, with the pedal. Yeah, they keep going. So that's essentially where the sort of the mid boost is going to help, and with some fairly heavy compression. I've got a flat mode as well. Let's just do it again with the flat mode. So. Yeah. So that's where you'd use a compressor. Um, got to, you know, let's go back to the uh, Fender sound. We've got a lot of tech on the floor here, haven't we? It's got quite, a lot of quite tech. Amazing. Um, so that's that's the Strymon compressor, the Obi One. Very very cool kind of pedal. Compressor is one of those things where you know it's not the type of effect like a flange or a chorus or a drive pedal where it's very very obvious that's happening. But it's a cool pedal to use. A lot of guitar players will actually you know never switch their compressors off. You know they'll just use it permanently. Bass so, players as well. Yeah. Yeah, that's very Be really true. good for a bass player. Cool. So the next pedal along, and this is no particular order, um, is the Brigadier. Brigadier. Um, <laughs> who's a famous Brigadier? 
What's a brigadier? A, it's what's a, a brigadier? It's a rank in the army. Oh, yeah. is it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. old-fashioned army, like infantry. I thought it was brigadier. <laughs> it could be a Strymon Brigadier. It shows how much I in know America. about the army. Yeah. Is it, do you have a Brigadiers in America as well? Brigadier. Brigadier. Yeah, Brigadier. 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 Is it Brigadier. It'd be, like, it'd be yeah. like the Lieutenant, Lieutenant thing, wouldn't I it? I bet the Marriott. We say Lieutenant, you, they say Lieutenant. They say it wrong. We say Brigadier, they it's say Brigadier. Brigadier. Back in the room! Back in the so, room! Brigadier. So this is a D-bucket delay. So this has lots and lots of... Um, Different modes that I can run this in, different time lengths. We can get the taps to be uh, quarter mode dots or triplets. Well, let me do um, some clean delay type stuff then with the Strat. With the D-Bucket faithfully recreating the characteristics of the BBD, the other aspects of designing a delay-based circuit can be considered in the same way as when designing an analog. These considerations include compounding, filtering, limiting, input conditioning, etc. The D-Bucket lends itself naturally to all traditional BBD applications. <laughs> Providing varying degrees of loss, essentially, be, be trying to find out what it does. <laughs> well, it's Strymon, it's like patented Strymon D bucket technology. It's the type of chip that's in the pedal, and what it does is it creates like a modulation y kind of delay. So that includes like um, stuff like uh, chorus y, vibrato y kind of delay, apparently. Fine. Back over here. <laughs> So, I'll play some guitar yes. while you tweak with the, with the pedal. A <clears throat> couple of other things I can show you on here as well. We've got a tap tempo, yes. which you can obviously tap in the speed that you want. And yeah. then the, the, one of the buttons up here allows for the <clears throat> tap to either literally just give you the, the tap that you've done, yeah. or interpret your tap into either quarter note or triplet. Now Lee, on cool. our GoPro technological device, the yeah. cable is covering what the little tiny flick switch does. Oh, you read it? out what it hang says? On. Hang on, Parts the cables. Excuse me, dear. <laughs> <laughs> can you, can you see that? So we've got um, we've got um, a mode for the time to work in. <laughs> it's going to be inbox Strymon Dilly. We did watch your video. You have lost your Strymon dealership. We were very <laughs> un very unhappy to see. <laughs> The parting of the black cables <laughs> on the so, Strymon demo video. <laughs> so, okay, so Back the time room. control here, which which obviously has a short, medium, and long mode, and the tap control here, which can be uh, done in quarter notes, dots, or or triplets. Uh, what I liked as well is the <laughs> modulation uh, and the bucket loss kind of affect the way the echo um, repeats itself. Uh, and, and adds that sort of classic modulation to the echo, which gives it a big kind of spacey sound. Um, so as Rob said, he's gonna play, I'm gonna press buttons and you're gonna listen. <laughs> I just wanted to see what's that, that in in long mode, how long are we getting here? Is this play a note and then count it? Or just know? Wow. <laughs> Loads. Way too that, much. You can really hear the modulation there on, on the echo. A bit over the top that, but so, can we bring, back, bring it back to a regular yeah, range? Yeah, like a regular... Just a normal kind of area. I love this, this where is you, awesome. Where you, you use it normally. Yeah. Never, never let Lee be on the floor while you're playing. We've just popped it on the Marshall on a kind of crunchy tone just to give Rabir a chance to sort of do a little bit. I would say with a heavier gain sound, you should always put your delay pedal through the effects loop, but we've got this running into the front end. So anyway, let's see what Rabir can do.
Okay, back to the fender, which is the toggle button. Next, pedal along. Really like the Brigadier. You're gonna hear a lot more delay stuff um, when we do the second video using the timeline uh, from Strymon. Who makes Strymon pedals from Strymon, Mr. Strymon. <laughs> now we're going on to the um, Orbit, uh, the D-Bucket flanger. Uh, <laughs> Schlick. <laughs> okay, so again, this is a this is a, a very high quality combination digital analog kind of flanger orbit here. So controls wise, again, it's pretty typical kind of flanger stuff uh, with a few extra sort of Strymon goodness bits put in. So speed and width um, are going to be the, the the main controllers in terms of how fast and how deep What's does it sort of regen? go. Regen. Regeneration. Sounds like a Dungeons and Dragons. No, regeneration is. Um, an effect that is essentially emulates when they used to do uh, sort of modulation effects by literally speeding down mm. and slowing up uh, sort of old tape machines. Mm. And it's that, let me plug it in, it's that psychedelic whooshing noise that you get over the top and the more yeah. I dial it in, the more kind uh, of over okay. the top I thought it, it was becomes. a plug for Regeneration Nation for my friend Dan McDonald. It could be. But it's not. It could be. You said speeding down and slowing up. I really like that. Yeah, that's correct. That's uh, oh, speeding, right. speeding down and slowing up. It's it's a new bit of jargon. Oh, right, okay. Up. Now, the favourite thing, if I remember... It's the favourite button. Yeah, now, if I remember rightly, some of these pedals, perhaps, I don't think it's many, one or two. In fact, looking at this, it may just be the, 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 um, the orbit. There's a secondary pedal that you can put in called a favourite pedal. Right. And it remember, you can actually set up a sound, store it as your favourite, and then use a remote pedal to kind of recall wow, like a favorite awesome. sound. That's a great idea. Um, anyway, so we won't really show that off in this video. Mix and manual again. Mix is an obvious one, it's sort of how over the top we want this. And manual is another sort of tonal element to the mm. flanger. So, let's play. <laughs> do something with a bit of gain okay. and then you do something with a bit sure. of clean. So can you toggle us and put us on number two? <laughs> So that was the uh, the naughty pink thing here called the orbit. <laughs> um, next one along, Lex. The, the Lex Luthor. Luth Lex Luthor. A quick quote from Superman Best Two. Superman from ever made. Was it Superman One or Superman Two? Is that almost Zod? Kneel before Zod. No. Yeah, it was. That yeah. was Lex Luthor was in that, but he was in the yeah. first one as well, wasn't he? Yes. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this is the this is the Lex little brown pedal here, um, and it has a call button called horn level, which I'm sure will come horn. some jokes. But anyway, so this is a Leslie speaker simulator. If you don't know what one of those is, it was a 
great big wooden organ cabinet uh, that had a, um, a front-facing kind of 12-inch speaker. So many innuendos. <laughs> 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 Everything. Oh, it's right. <laughs> <laughs> it said horse level. It was a big cabinet with a big... I thought horse. he said horse So it had a regular kind of speaker and it had um, a flared kind of high-frequency horn, except that the horn was on a motor and the horn would actually spin <coughs> round um, on top of the cabinet. Um, and actually, no. I tell it, which way round did this go? Did the horn spin? No, I tell a lie. I, it was either the horn spun round, or there was a there I was think like the a cabinet spun around the horn. No, that, seriously. I know you're. There was actually like a um, a circular kind of yeah, uh, the, 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 the speaker drum. Spun that's it. And the, and the drum actually had a slit in it, yeah, so that it as the drum. The yeah. So I think that's more what actually happened. The horn anyway, was in the slit. but rather than having drums and horns, we got a pedal. So in you. effect, now the, the guys that you'll remember, the guy that's probably the most famous for using these was Stevie Ray Vaughan. Um, did a lot of his kind of that that sort of almost chorusy kind of sound, but it's not. It's a. Can you play some of that stuff? He would have done. Uh, I'm sure a beer can. Oh, I can do a, a botched version. I of think it. you should do a botched version um, of the strap. But you you play first. So the cool thing is on here we've got the on and off button. We've got the slow and fast control. And what I really like about a good Leslie speaker simulator, sorry, is that when you switch from slow and fast, which was a feature that was on the old Leslie cabinet, as the horn mechanically kind of gets faster as it reaches the speed, the pedal will emulate that kind of getting faster and getting slower. Uh, we can also add some preamp drive. So if we want to send the amplifier into a small bit of distortion, and we can play with the mic distance, which essentially emulates taking the microphone away. The closer you get to the to the cabinet, obviously the more pronounced the the, uh, the sound is every time that kind of horn comes round, and the further you take it away, the, the sort of the more um, what's the right word uh, ambient, if you like it, that that effect becomes. So here we go. This is I'm just going to play around. <laughs> Um, play a chord and let it ring and let people hear the uh, when it speeds from slow to... Yeah! So that's kind of cool. Um, that's great. I really like that. Do you want me to do some, some botch some... CV Rave on, but, do... don't, but don't oh. botch it. Do it properly, mate. Do you know what? My leg's gone to sleep here. Poor, poor captain. His leg's gone to sleep. Um, is it the wooden one? Yeah. So that was the Lex Strymon. Now El Capitan, not El Capitan. Very close to the El Capitan. This is a D Tape Echo. Um, so again, if you like uh, e uh, tape echoes and you know a little bit about tape echoes, again, we talk about things like wow and flutter. And those are essentially what would happen is as the um, motor on the tape machine would drive the tape round and you'd get this kind of stretching um, effect on the tape yeah it? stretching effect and where because it's just not in an old analog mechanics you know sometimes you'd find that the the, the wheel would go around a, a slight slippage sort of speed i just said a word that didn't mean anything didn't i slip it slip slip it slippage <laughs> yeah it's a, it's a, it's good a new word. word it's a new word i might put that on a pedal slippage um so similar kind of idea to the um the brigadier, or brigadier as uh, normal people would say, um, is that we've got a tap control. Uh, we've got a tap control here uh. so that we can essentially dial, you know, dial in on the fly uh, a faster or slower kind of um, delay control. Um, anyway, same again, I think Rob will play a bit of clean. A bit of drop driven.
notice with this pedal actually, it seems to uh, it seems to add a lot of reverb into the tone as well as just a sort of the basic sort of tape delay. So careful how much of this you sort of dial in and how much reverb you've already got on your amplifier. Show, show them how much. It can be a bit overwhelming. <laughs> Radiohead vibe and mm, very vintagey sounding it, delay pedal. Isn't it's the it? kind of pedal that if I owned, I'd like to own it, mm. I would probably write a couple of songs on the back of just using the pedal as a, as a creative device. Yeah, let's hear Rabir play that, and then we'll switch these pedals over to the new uh, to the uh, Mobius and the Timeline, and do some more. I have to say, I, I think just purely from a color perspective, I think these two. I'd have to probably have these separated on a board, otherwise <laughs> it would upset me. <laughs> OCD annoying. Ready? Okay. I should also point out that they've all got these, well, I say all of them, they've mostly got these lovely kind of silent switches as well. So they're not, the, the compressor for they're some They're not reason, latching, aren't they? Well, the compressor is latching. You might be able to hear that. All oh, right. But um, on the two controls, but the rest are all these nice silent switches. So you don't really hear them kind of kicking in and out. Lee uh, loves pressing buttons, don't you? I love pressing buttons. It's your favorite thing to yes. do. Yes. It just has this kind of otherworldly mm. ethereal feel to it, you know. It's kind of cool as well. I mean, we probably haven't really said about these, but you know, they're, they're beautifully made and you do feel like as you're dialing them in, you're not sitting there thinking, oh, they, I've lost the tone of the amp or anything like no, that. No, they're, they're it's, it's all very, very high quality. Yeah. Anyway, well, das ist Strymon. <laughs> we just went German there for no reason other than because it felt fun. Uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to get Rabir's Mobius and Timeline and well, put we, them down here instead. Well, should that be a separate video? A separate video. We should end this video we now. We should end this video now. I've been Rob Chapman. I've been Bilbo Baggins. I've been Rabir. Bye.